today we're gonna show you how to use PyClient Lead Digital Signage Solutions. Okay, this is the Chrome browser. You can log in with IE browser as well. Okay, so the first step is keying the IP address and you will see the interface right here. So let's key in your account and password. Okay, basically this is the operational user interface. You can see there are several icons up there, blue ones and green ones. The blue ones means content management functions and the green one means backend management functions. Okay, let's create a template. Let's up from uploading a file first. You can choose different media formats right here and upload all of them at the same time. It is uploading and when it is done, it will show the upload status as 100%. Okay, next let's do a template which is a layout. Let's create a new one. Give it a name, for example, Elephant Test, and give the resolution. Okay, in this page, you can see there are several icons on your left hand side some photos, graphics, ticker, even Microsoft Office files. So let's try with graphic first. As you can see, it is drag and drop interface. So it is really easy to use. But fill in, in full screen as the bottom layer. And next, let's do it with the YouTube section. Still drag and drop to the ideal position. So you can combine different layers and different file formats in one content. It allows users to manage the content freely and also give users lots of flexibilities to arrange their content. So, and save it. Okay, let's do it with playlist. Create a new playlist for our template. For example, brand image, because we want to promote our brand image for our customers. And choose the template that you just created. Okay, so in this page, all you need to do is insert the files that belong to its area. The graphic area, you have to insert the photo image files. And for the marquee area, you can tap, key in the text you want to show. For example, welcome to AOPEN Retail Evolution Lab. It is our demo center, by the way. Okay, so as for the ticker, you can define its speed, its font size, the direction from left to right or right to left. You can also define the background color or the font color. It gives users a lot of flexibilities to edit its content. And for the clock area, there are different formats that allows users to choose from. You can also define the font color, the style, the layout, and the background color. Many details that allow users to add. It. As for the YouTube section, copy the URL link of your YouTube video 
and just pass it right here so it will show the specific video of your YouTube link when you insert all the files in each section click save and publish then you can see the content is already published to the screen let's do it with schedule plan a schedule for our playlist let's do it a weekday for example uh, create a new one so our diff playlist name is brand image and you can choose the specific day to sp specific time that you want this playlist to be played back since it's weekday, so let's just choose Monday to Friday. Okay, it's done. Let's uh, introduce an interesting feature, which is an alert. Alert means when there's emergency or some earthquake or flood or fire happen, you want to publish some instant information for your audience. So you can use these functions to announce the information. And you can choose the alert to be played back as a ticker or an image. And when the alert is created, you can publish immediately to all the client devices. Then it will be the top priority of other content. Okay, there are some backend management functions. Let's get a quick view you can manage the account authorities and define its given functions you can also manage different client devices right here and monitoring their status also you can manage different clients by group by locations so you can manage the functions right here also, we have some remote management functions and the log report as well. It will show what content to be played back how many times. So it allows users to give the report for their boss, for their managers, or even for their target customers to show them how many times the content already played back. Overall, PyCliently is an easy to use digital signage solution. It gives users lots of flexibilities and many management functions as well as rich features that allows customers to adapt in different kinds of application markets. If you have any questions or inquiry, feel free to contact your sales windows for further assistance. Thank you.